Take a break from your busy schedule and join Harold Sala for Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. Do you ever feel yourself being torn between what you know is the right thing to do and what you really want to do? If you answer no, either you're not telling the truth or the battery of your conscience has gone dead. The struggle is an old one. Even Paul experienced the conflict. He candidly told of the battle that waged in his heart. He said, when I want to do good, I don't. And when I try not to do wrong, I do it anyway. God's word is clear. When you are born again, God accepts what Christ did and applies it to your account. So Paul wrote, For he has rescued us out of the kingdom of darkness and gloom of Satan's kingdom and brought us into the kingdom of his dear Son. That in itself is awesome. It means you have been transplanted spiritually. So does that mean you will automatically do the right thing? Not for a moment. In a sense, it means you begin the most ferocious battle of your life. Yes, you are God's child. Yes, the Holy Spirit has come to indwell your life. Yes, you belong to Jesus Christ. But you are still in the world, and your old or sinful nature wars with your new spiritual nature. Paul told the Romans that we should consider our old natures to be dead. In other words, you don't feed your flesh. You don't make it easy to do the wrong thing. You avoid the areas of weakness which you know can easily entrap you. Like what? Every person has to answer that for himself or herself. Simply put, you have a will of your own, and God won't take that away from you. Yes, God's Holy Spirit can and does give you strength and help, but you are the one who must decide the path you take. If you are fighting this old battle of two natures, take to heart the following three guidelines. Guideline 1. Keep your relationship with the Lord warm and personal. It's right here that you win or lose the battle. This means you must take time to fellowship with other Christians. You must take time to read His Word and to spend time in prayer. When you fall spiritually, you must quickly admit your failure, confess it before God and your brothers and sisters, and ask for God's strength and help. Guideline 2. Keep the right company. No, I'm not suggesting you break off friendships with everyone who is a non-Christian. To the contrary, God wants you to be salt and light, and the salt has to get out of the shaker to make a difference, and the light has to go beyond the door of the church. But I am saying clearly that if you are involved in a relationship which you know is wrong, break it off once and for all. You will never have the assurance you are God's child as long as you fail in this area. Guideline 3. Form the right habits. The chains of habit are too weak to be felt, said someone, until they are too strong to be broken. Replace wrong habits with right ones. A final thought in the last few seconds. No, Paul didn't give up on the battle between right and wrong. Romans 7 talked about the struggle, and it's followed, though, by Romans 8 that says, Therefore, there is now no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus, period. God is still in the business of breaking the bondage of ourselves and setting us free through the power of His Spirit. You've just heard Dr. Harold Sala with Guidelines, a five-minute commentary on living. If you would like to listen to the program again, download a copy, subscribe to our e-commentary, or view other resources, visit guidelines.org. We would like to hear from you, too. You can email us at info at guidelines.org. That's info at guidelines.org. Thanks for listening, and we invite you to join us again for the next edition of Guidelines. Guidelines.